Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight, I thought I'd show you guys how to install Workbench 3.1 onto your compact flash card or hard drive. So, let's get started. All right. The first thing we want to do is you want to load up um, the install disk um, in the Amiga emulator, you know, Workbench 3.1 install disk. And we want to make sure that your compact flash card comes up and it's been formatted, you know, prepped, partitioned, and formatted. So it's ready to go. And so we double click on the install disk and we double click on the install drawer and we select your language for the install I live here in the United States and we speak English here in the United States so that's what I'm gonna select all right you can pause the video if you want to read any of this. So, select your language. Select a printer if you're going to use one. Now, I do have an Apple Image Writer 2 printer, which actually works really well with the Amiga. Uh, but you can always select your printer uh, later, you know. Uh, in fact, most of you that are using an Amiga 1200, you probably won't even use a printer. So just click on Proceed. All right. So now it wants the Amiga Workbench disk. So we hit the F12 key. <clears throat> Go to the floppy drives. We want to eject that disk, the install disk, and we want to insert the workbench disk. And then click on OK. It's just that simple, boys and girls. You're watching this in real time. <clears throat> this has not been sped up at all. You're watching this in real time. It goes pretty quick. Hit the F12 key. I think it wants the, what, the locale disk? So we'll insert the locale disk. Okay. Insert that and click on OK. Now it wants the extras disk, so hit F12 again. Eject that disk and insert the extras disk and click on OK. All right, now it wants the fonts disk, so it hit the F12 key, eject the disk, and insert the fonts disk. <clears throat> 
All right. Now it wants the storage disk. So again, we hit the F12 key, eject the disk, and we insert the storage disk. And finally, it wants the install disk again, so we hit the F12 key, we eject the disk, and we insert the install disk. All right, the installation of release 3.1 is now complete. To enable release 3.1, you must reboot your Amiga. Okay. Remove the Amiga install disk from the floppy drive and select the Proceed gadget to reboot your Amiga. So we hit the F12 key again and we eject that disk. And it should load up pretty fast now because now it's going to be loading up off of our compact flash card hard drive. Boom. Just that quick, boys and girls. Okay. The first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of that border around the main desktop window. So we do that like that. Then we want to clean up. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to snapshot the window so we don't have to keep doing this every time we boot up our Amiga 1200. And snapshot all. All right, the next thing we want to do is go to our preps drawer and go to our screen mode. And we want to select NTSC High Res Laced. And we want to adjust this all the way up to 256 colors. Okay, and we want to save it. Alrighty. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I want to go ahead and clean up again because we changed the screen resolution. So, and we'll snapshot the window and snapshot the icons. Okay. We just installed Workbench 3.1 onto our Compact Flash card. It is now ready to put into an Amiga 1200 computer. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install Amiga OS 3.9 on a freshly prepped Compact Flash card for use with your Commodore Amiga 1200 computer. So stay tuned for that exciting video. Anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time,